Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss inclusion exclusion principle, and this principle is also used for counting techniques. In previous lecture, we have discussed some rule. Suppose we have a task T, and suppose this task can be completed using E1 or through you can say E2, and suppose E1 occurs in n ways and E2 occurs in m ways, and we have also assumed that none of these even ways is similar to any of these m ways. Means these two, in terms of event e1 and e2, these two events cannot occur simultaneously. And the total number of ways to complete this task t, that is, to perform e1 or e2, can be given by n plus m. So this was some rule, but if some of these n ways are similar to some of these m ways, then how can we count? Because if we add n and m, then this similar ways will be counted twice. You can understand it with the help of sets. Suppose this set, this set is for e1. Suppose this set is for e2, and this can be done in n ways, and this can be done in M ways. If none of these n ways similar to these m ways, then obviously it is n plus m. But if some of ways are common, that is, this say e1 and e2 means. So if we add n and m, then this part will be added twice. So to find the number of ways to perform e1 or E2 in case where some of the ways are common, so you can write it number of ways for E1 plus number of ways for E2. Now in this sum, this common part is uh, added twice. That's why we will remove this and E1 intersection E2. So this principle is known as inclusion exclusion principle. And using this principle, we can solve a number of counting problems. Look at this example. In how many ways can we select a king or a heart from a pack of cards? So suppose, for example, E1 is the event of getting a king, and suppose E2 is the event of getting a heart. Now you know in a pack of cards. Four kings are there, and in a pack of cards, you know, thirteen hearts are there. So E1 can occur in four ways, E2 can occur in thirteen ways, and you know, one card, one king of heart will be there. It means E1 and E2. That is, a king of heart can occur in one ways. So how can we select a king or a heart? It means we have to find an e1 or e2. So this is given by n e1 plus n e2 minus n e1 intersection e2, and this is 4 plus 13 minus 1, and this equal to 16. So in this way, we have 16 ways for selecting a king or a heart from a pack of cards. Now look at this another example. How many bit strings of length 4 either start with a 1 bit or with 0? So here the problem is to we have to make a bit string of length 4 in this way. Now suppose E1 is the event of getting a bit string of length 4 that starts with 1. That is in first place is occupied by 1. So for the remaining 3 places, we have to fill this, these remaining places either with 0 or with 1. So look at this. If you go back to the previous lecture, for this place we have 2 choices. For next place again we have 2 choices. And for this place, again, we have two choices. I have used this product rule because for each of these choices, 
we have two choices for this place and again for these choices we have two choices for this place so we'll use product rule 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 similarly e2 e2 is when we get the string end with 0 it means last place is fixed with 0 now we have choices for these first three places so again we have two choices for this, two choices for second, two choices for third. So this is 2 into 2 into 2. So we have 8 choices. Now look at this. Out of these choices E1 and E2, it may be possible that the string starts with 1 and 0. It means some of the ways from E1 are similar to some of the ways of E2 because a string can start with 1 and end with 0. So these ways are common when the string starts with 1 and ends with 0. So for this we have two choices left and this is given by 2 into 2 because for this we have two choices for each of these two choices we have again two choices here. So 2 into 2. So number of ways for even this is 8 for e2 8 even and e2 this is so, number of E1 or E2 that is start with either with A or end with 0. This is given by N E1 plus N E2 minus N E1 intersection E2. So, this is 8 plus 8 minus 4 and this is 12. So in this way, 12 strings will be there which satisfy this condition. Now look at this problem. A company requires a BTEC or MBA for a job. The company received 350 applications. Out of these applications, a total of 220 were BTEC, 147 were MBA and 51 had both the degrees. Now, how many applications rejected due to not fulfilling the eligibility? Now, look at this. It is asked that how many applications rejected. Rejected means those applicants who do not fulfill the criteria of either BTEC or MBA. So, how can we look at this problem? How can we interpret this problem in the form of set? Say this set is set of all applications S. Set of all applications received. Now suppose this set represents the applications of B tech student denoted by say B. And say this set is applications of MBA students. And this part, this part is B intersection M is the applicants who have both the degrees BTEC as well as MBA. So now look at this what is given. Total applications this is given 350 and number of applications of BTEC degree this is given 220. Similarly number of applications with MBA degree this is given 147. Now another thing this 51 had both the degrees means B intersection M this is 51. So now first we have to find the total number of applicants who fulfill the criteria of either BTEC or MBA. So this is this can be calculated B union M B union M this is equal to B plus M minus B intersection M. So this is two twenty plus one forty seven minus fifty one. So if you solve this, this is three sixty. 7 minus 51 
and is equal to 316. So this is the number of applicants who fulfill the criteria of either BTEC or MBA. But we have to find the applications rejected. Rejected means applications applications rejected. This is given by. Now look at this. We have to find this set. The number of elements in this set. This outsider set. And this set is given by S minus B union M. So the number of elements in this set S minus B union M. This is given by total number of elements in S is 350. And here in B union M 316. So 350 minus 316. 6 this is 34 so total number of applications rejected due to not fulfilling the eligibility is equal to 34 now look at this problem in a class of 50 students there are two optional subjects web designing and programming a student has to choose at least one of the subject means a student can choose one or two subjects it is found that 18 students opted for web designing but not for programming. Similarly, 25 students opted for programming but not for web design. So, how many students opted for opted both the subject web designing and programming? So, look at this. Suppose this set is for web designing and say this set is for say this set is for programming now what is given 18 students opted for web designing but not for programming it means it is given that 18 students opted for web designing only only means this part only this part means look at this this part only and how can we denote this part we can write this part w intersection p bar p bar means universal set minus p if you take intersection with double then you will get this set so this is given this equal to 18 similarly 25 gen opted for programming but not for web designing so this is given as 20 now total number of student equal to 50 50 men look at this every student to choose at least one of the subject it means this is given w union p this is given as 50 because every student has to choose at least one of the subjects so how many students opted for both the subjects so how can we find this if you look at it, this set is noted by W intersection P bar. This set is W intersection P bar. This set is W bar intersection P. And look at this. This part is W intersection P. So, number of elements in W union P, this is given by because three sets are, look at this, these three sets are now disjoint set so number of elements in d union p this equal to number of elements in this set plus this set plus this set so you can write union p this equal to w intersection p bar plus w intersection p plus w bar intersection p look at this this is 50 and w intersection p bar this is 18 and this is not given we have to find it and this is 25 so w intersection p this equal to 50 minus 18 plus 25 this is 43 
and this equal to Z. So how many strand opted for both subject? Double intersection P. This is seven. Now how many strand opted for web designing? Web designing means we have to find the number of elements in W. We have to find number of elements in W. So how can we find it? Look at this. Number of elements in W means number of elements in this set. So this is given by W intersection P bar plus W intersection P. So number of elements in this is 18 and in this intersection part is 7. So you can write it intersection P bar plus W intersection P. So this is 18 plus 7 this equal to 25. This equal to 20. Similarly, if you have to find the number of strand opted for programming, this is P and similarly you can write this plus this, you can write it W intersection P plus W R intersection P. So 7 plus 25, this equal to 30. So in this way, you can count the number of strands in various uh, problems. So you have to check the problem first. Then accordingly you have to apply the principle of inclusion and exclusion. Now we can extend this concept to three sets also. Suppose we have A, B and C. Three sets and we know that A union B union C number of elements in A union B union C this is given by number of elements in A plus number of elements in B plus number of elements in C minus number of elements in A intersection B minus mod B intersection C minus C intersection A plus A intersection B intersection C. So in this way, the exclusion, inclusion exclusion principle can be extended for three or other more than three sets. And you can solve the problems based on principle of inclusion and exclusion. So I hope that you got the concept of principle of inclusion exclusion and now you can solve the problems related to this principle.